I'm Robert Mendoza. And we're the owners and franchisees of the Earth and Murray Dance Studio in Woodland Hills. I actually started in the business through my parents owning a school in the Earth and Murray Dance Studios in Redlands and grew up in the business and was able to start my own business at the age of 31. I actually started in the business at the age of 30 after spending 10 years in corporate America uh, in the insurance field, risk management type stuff. was introduced to the studio from my sister. Within a year, actually, I was teaching in the studio and ended up quitting my corporate job. And so here's 12 years later, and franchisee of the Arthur Rowe and We look at the amount that we still have. So even though we might have 10 or 11% unemployment in California, that still leaves 89 to 90% employed. So that's the attitude we take in the studio, and that's the attitude we try to implore all of our staff and students to have when they come to the studio. And we've had many people that come into our studio and say, this is like an adult Disneyland. It's a place where people can come, we're positive, we're fun, they're laughing, and that only helps them actually go back into their own businesses and feel successful uh, because they're having a good time themselves. Everyone here has a common denominator of wanting to learn how to dance. We really have a good time, not uh, sitting at home and sitting in misery and just watching TV and trying to zone out and ignore everything. We actually come in here and really enjoy ourselves. This tip that um, I've been given that I think is really important in this day and, and age is to make sure that you're very modern, that you're keeping up with the times, um, that you're being relevant to today. So that when people come into your business, they go, wow, this is a fun, happening, hip place to be at. That's the kind of environment that we try to have. A lot of people might think a dance studio is just a floor and mirrors, but we're really creating a fun environment, elegance, so that people want to come. I think very often when you maybe take over a business or start a new business, you have to be emotionally prepared that that momentum is going to take time. It, it was tough, but we got out of it, I don't know, within a few months had things turned around and really moving our way up. And within two years, two, three years, we were the second uh, school in the company of the over 250 schools. But that initial start was tough. Right. Becoming quote unquote successful business owners, that it's, it's allowed us the opportunity to meet other successful business owners like my corporation, which has then parlayed into opening successful businesses that we're working on currently. And of course, the, the association with my corporation has been invaluable in, in assisting with that and helping us grow in those and helping us grow in those avenues. But I also think the most rewarding thing in, in uh, our studio and our business has been helping others succeed as well. Because as we get better in our business and become more relevant in our business, we've been able to pull a lot of staff and a lot of people up into the business. And when we took it over, we only had two employees. Now we have 14, 15 regular full-time employees who've been able to keep up on staff and help them succeed and be some of the top people in the world at their job profession as well.